Bonjour, Enzo. I don't have a serious conversation with you. Okay. I know what I truly deserve. <laughs> Good morning guys! Good morning from the new home! Guys, I've been up since 5.30 Okay, because that's the time Enzo wakes up at And I've been trying to start filming but he's been so fussy this morning So right now it's 7.39 I'm gonna put his bottle in the warmer He actually drinks whole milk now because I'm done pumping It's a sippy bottle This is to help him transition I tried to give him a straw to drink his milk but he doesn't want to drink his milk with straw But he drinks water with a straw. This is his water bottle and there's a straw inside. This is what he uses and he drinks water fine from this bottle but he refuses to drink milk from a straw. I don't get it. Can somebody explain to me this phenomenon? <laughs> oh my god. I have to go upstairs. My baby is crying. Oh. J'arrive! Enzo! Enzo! Maman arrive! Bonjour Enzo! Que tu es beau! Oh my god, he's so freaking cute! Mm? Oh baby d'amour! <laughs> Also, guys, Enzo has been walking. Mm. So proud of him taking his baby steps. But guys, don't we look like twins? We're freaking twins. You guys, you guys can tell me now that he doesn't look like me. He looks like my twin. Mm. Bisous. Fais bisous à maman. Fais bisous. Fais bisous à maman. Non? T'es pas intéressé? But yeah, he got his milk, so he's calm now. Oh gosh, I am a mess. But thank you guys so much for all the love in the house tour. <laughs> you guys know we're never serious, so we, we had to make it funny. Today, I'm going to be baby proofing the house. We already put up some gates, but there's one gate that we couldn't put up because we're missing the extension because it's too small for the gap, if that makes sense. 9 11. Enzo is going to be hanging out with his dad while I go and get ready. His dad feeds him fruits in the morning. As you guys can see, he has his raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. And he loves it. And now I can get a break. And his dad is going to have him till he puts him down for a nap. There are so many comments about us leaving Enzo near the window. Alright, they're not plastic curtains. They're wooden curtains and they're nice and thick. So if he were to hurt himself or anything, it would be the little loops of string inside. The curtains, but not the curtains themselves. Yeah, when you saw them, the curtains were down. But usually when we have them there, the window's up so he can look outside. That's the point of them being right there. Pull all the curtains up and then they have hooks along the top of the curtains so you can pull the strings away from him. Yeah. So he could basically only interact with the window itself. Yeah, but thank you. We, we appreciate the concerns. People are freaking out. So thank you for your concern, but just let you know he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. We just left him. We were watching him. We will never leave him next to a window without actually watching him. Guys, we look like twins, right? Me and Enzo. <laughs> Do you know what would be great? If you get a bus cut, baby, to match us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, cut I don't want to look too good for y'all now. Y'all want all this sexiness? You think you look good? To be unleashed? You think you look good? Baby girl. I thought that I had purchased broken eggs, yeah. but I didn't. I am confirmed that we're going to move the eggs to a different shelf. Why? Because you were too rough with these eggs and you put them away. How do you know that? Mm -hmm. Because the other day, there were a couple broken eggs. So then I moved all the eggs over here and they were all fine. And then, today when I went inside to pick an egg, I noticed there were a couple broken eggs. No, no, I saw these two eggs broken yesterday. Baby, they're all broken. What? It's not they're me. They're all broken. They're broken on the bottom, which means when they're being put inside. I'm not saying it's your fault. The shelf that we're putting on is very skinny. So there's a chance when you're putting them in, they're being hit. They're being slid and hit. So I just want to protect our eggs. So it's you know the chef's I mean? fault. It's, it's the handler's fault. The person who is handling the eggs. Which is you? No, no, no. Because I moved them. And they were all fine. And then they're all broken, How which let me know. When you, them? When, you, when you put them in the fridge, did you yeah. open to see okay. the eggs? Okay, baby. Huh? Okay, baby. Did you open to see the eggs? Yeah, you're always right. <laughs> Men have nothing but the audacity. Hi hey guys, I took a shower. I had my breakfast, which is good. And then I'm back wearing my robe again. But anyone else does that? <laughs> does anyone else wakes up, take a shower, and wears the same clothes they slept with? Well, that's me. But guess what, guys? Tomorrow is Tato's birthday. It's his birthday. There's something that I wanted to get for him. It's kind of pricey, but we've talked about it and he told me to hold off on it. 
because of all the move we spend money moving and, and it's not really a, get, like it's a nice thing but i don't really need it right now because i have another version of what she yeah. was thinking that this would just be newer speaking of better. things that i do for my husband because i get sometimes that messages saying oh he did this for you but what did you do for him and i'm just going to tell you guys this right you guys don't know my husband's love language and just because you want me to make out a show for him doesn't mean that that's what he wants I'm always going to put first what he wants over what social media wants. My man is a simple man. Like for example, for Christmas, I got him a PlayStation 5, which is hard to get, and he uses that every day. Faithfully. Like yeah. literally every day I play the game, at least put in like a half an hour of gaming time. But for Valentine's Day, somebody was like, you know men like flowers too. Not my man! What the hell? My man does not want flowers. I'm not going to buy flowers for social media. I'm sure you've seen the big box of rose heads. If she bought me that, I would look at her like she was silly. Like she didn't even know me. Exactly. He's the like very, she was doing it for herself. He's a very simple guy and he likes what he likes. And what Listen, he likes is not extravagant. All a guy wants on Valentine's Day is that good good. All right? He wants you to spin it around like a surfboard, <laughs> do the tricks, back that thing up, okay? <laughs> That's all he cares for. He's sleeping. He's you? sleeping. That's what I'm saying. Like People think that I don't plan nothing for you and I don't care about stuff that you do so much for me. You do things for me based on what I like and I, I do stuff for you based on what you like. Mm -hmm. And what I like is more like shoes and showy. And, you do, he doesn't and I like, like peace. Yeah, he likes... <laughs> can't buy peace. <laughs> exactly. Because I know people are already going to be like, okay, but what did you do for his birthday? Social media is part of my job, but I'm not going to do everything just for social media. Especially when it comes to my marriage and relationship. If I was to throw you a party, you'd be like, what the heck? You yeah. would not want it. I would be like, can everybody leave already? Exactly. Give me the gifts and go. He's a loner, so I do what my man likes. What are you doing? I'm trying to have a serious conversation. I want to have a serious conversation with you. Okay. That's what I truly deserve. <laughs> you see, I was really serious, this yeah. man. Yeah. Guys, I love you, girl. I love you too. Uh, I'm not worried about all of them. I'm just worried about you. Don't worry about them. I got you. You got me, okay? So, guys, I'm gonna make Enzo pancake, but I don't know if it's called pancake. I think it's called something else. We gotta add broccoli and shrimp in it. Mm -hmm. But I use flowers and eggs. <laughs> it's, it's probably one of them vegan pancakes. You think so? Yeah, because vegans, they make a brownie and it's made with carrots. <laughs> yeah, but do vegan use eggs? Well, it depends. If it's vegan, no. If it's vegetarian, yeah, but if it's allergen-free, then no, because eggs are an allergen. Is still sleeping and productive today, guys. That's a real woman right there. Mm? That's a real woman right there. Mm hmm. No, that's right. Real good woman. <laughs> guys, I ordered a new vacuum and I'm so excited. I know you'll be excited about a vacuum. It's a cordless vacuum because the one we have has a cord that has to be branched, and upstairs is all carpet, and I have to carry the heavy vacuum we have and it's so much work so that vacuum cleans carpet and wood floors which is nice so that i don't need to sweep all the time what else do i need to do today i have to clean the doors and i have to clean the lint out of the dryer i saw a way to do it on tiktok so i'm gonna try it today i'm excited about cleaning who am i who am i when the pity Hello. Partage avec maman. A. 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 Merci. Guys, he finished his food and there's nothing left in his beak. Hein? T'avais vraiment faim, n'est-ce pas? Attention. So, I want to show you guys what I've gotten for Enzo. Since last you guys saw his room on the house store, I got this basket to store his plush, plushies, plushies. I got this play mat. It's so cute. I love the print on it. Also, it's really thick, so it cushions really well when he falls. 
Right, I got him a bookshelf as well, which is right here. You guys can see. Tiny bookshelf. My favorite thing I've gotten him so far is this climbing arc. Right now, all he does is just hit it. But I saw him today trying to climb it, so we're getting there. But what's so special about this climbing arc is that you can turn it into a rocker. And so, fais attention. Guys, I need to baby proof this place as sap. Doucement. Come. Did doucement. And so, di mama. Mama. The mama. Hi right, guys, so you see, it's a rocker. Guys, it's so freaking cute. Ooh. I think he likes it, guys. Last but not the least, I got him a ball pit. <laughs> Let me get scissors to open this. These are the balls that go in the ball pit. I'm supposed to receive one more today, so. Yeah. Ooh, Hey guys, so Enzo, tu peux arrêter? Guys, he was chewing something he was not supposed to chew. Enzo, j'essaie de parler à la caméra. Anyways, if you guys can hear me, I gave Enzo a shower, I dressed him up, and I gave him a snack. So let me show you guys what he's wearing. He's so cute. Di coucou la caméra. Coucou. His outfit is super cute. But guys, guess what? I received my vacuum. So let's unbox it. Guys, it is yeah. I really want Enzo to have a sibling because I'm so close to my sister, even though we're five years apart. We're super close. At the same time, it's a lot of work, but then I know that he will have a friend to play with. But then again, not all siblings are close. So, but then if I have another baby, then maybe I'm gonna have a girl. Well, guys, you know what? If I don't have a girl, I'll still be fine. Being a boy mom, I love Enzo so much. Having two boys would just be double the love. But if I have a girl, I can't even picture what life would be if I have a little mini me. Huh? Is she gonna be like me? Is she gonna try and pepper me like I'm peppering her dad? Okay. So I'm gonna try and put this together. Usually, Tato is the one that puts everything together for me, but he's super tired. As you guys can see, he's MIA. I went upstairs to grab my camera and he was sleeping on the floor in the office. He's so tired. Baby, if you're watching this, just know that we love you so much and we appreciate everything you do for us. I'll show you guys when it's done. <laughs> Aww. It's vacuum. I like it. It's light. It's gonna help me with the stairs. Yeah. Oh, there's a workout in the stairs with the other vacuum. Guys, look at the light. This is so cool. It's like, feed me. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. I'm recovering from being tipsy. Mm -hmm. And so your mom came over with my mom came over with my nephews. Nephews and then they surprised him. And they surprised me with some cool gifts mm -hmm. and some cool fun. Uh, my nephews haven't seen the place yet, so I got a tour and they thought it was awesome. Yeah, and then my dad came and we bonded over some wine. Yeah, that's where <laughs> she got drunk. <laughs> I just drank half a bottle and I'm drunk. Yeah, because you haven't I'm drunk for so long, remember? So I haven't drunk for two years, guys. You've been getting a little active lately, you know, and now you've been trying, you know, drinks and you're lightweight. Yeah, but <laughs> now that it's past midnight, it's yeah. my baby's birthday. Mm. Love you so much. How old am I, guys? Can you guess how old Tato is? Put uh, your best guess in the comments. Do you know what I was thinking about today? Yes, I was thinking about how the other day you said, it's a dream come true, us being able to just talk at night, mm -hmm. wind down. Yeah, because we couldn't do it before because Enzo was in the bedroom with us, so we had to whisper. And here we are whispering. 
<laughs> right? These are the little moments that matter mm-hmm. with your loved ones. Yeah. I love you so much and I'm so grateful. I love you too, baby. Can't wait to say pretty pretty tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to relax. His and hers, but this is the his and this is the hers. This is my canvas, guys. <laughs> so this is what I planned for his birthday. This is the part one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's supposed to be soup and paint. And I know that he's good at drawing. Can you imagine in business, but you're good at drawing, right? I did drawing, painting, sculpting, photography, and visual art. Yeah, so I know he's going to do great with this. For me and you to have some fun here and just play with the paint, mm-hmm. that's exactly how I need it to be. Yeah. This is a lot more fun. Coloring, speaking of coloring, uh, we got Little Man a coloring book. Um, and it's all colored up. Because of me. <laughs> it's very therapeutic to color. I'm going to get it is. a more complex one. It is very therapeutic. Yeah. Look at me, I thought it was the weekend, it's not. It's, it's the a, weekend for us, because that's a PTO. Also, oh, by the way, guys, after this, we are going to a restaurant. We're going to go get some good food. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell them it's your birthday, so maybe they'll give us like a cake and a little song at the end. Oh. Happy birthday to you. They're going to give Happy us a cake or me a cake? <laughs> you. This is my water. How thick your neck is. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'm just going to color your lips. So guys, we're still packing stuff. I read online that it takes at least 22 days to fully move in the place. 22, 22 days? Yeah. How long yeah, we've been days? here since February 9th. Which means we're not going to be done technically until like March something. I'm a mess. It's okay. You're my mess. I am done. This is what I did. I think I tried. I used blue because blue is tattoo's favorite color. And this is what he did for me. So what do you guys think? Which one is the best? Tattoo or mine? This is really therapeutic. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it again. But yeah guys, we're gonna get ready to go have dinner. Guys, I spent like 20 minutes just picking up the balls from the pit ball. Is it a pit ball? Uh, ball pit. Ball pit. That we just got him. I feel like I had a workout. Yeah, guys, I've worn this dress before and I just feel comfortable in it, so. Yeah, and, uh, I got my white shirt and my gray dress pants. And the. With my gray Puma jacket, since it's a little, little chill and outside. The background music. The background music is yes. courtesy of my son. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna get him socks and everything, go. <gasps> Me like it. Every time you wake up, stunning with no makeup, me like it. How you call my name up? Got me feeling way up, me like it. Haters trying to break <laughs> us, them know they can shake us, me like it. Baby, me no chase up, get ready to take off, okay? Number one, number one, eight.